So I'm uh, done already. Um, I started with BYND. Um, I keep breaking my own rule. I'm gonna stop doing that uh, from today forward unless I'm extremely certain. Uh, BYND didn't really do anything on the daily level. Uh, 15 minute. Uh, it looked like it was gonna break this level here. So I went short on the five minute same thing. It looked like it was gonna break that. It's been holding this for the last uh, basically uh, half an hour or so. Um, so I went short, to a small size, 100 shares, added to it another 100 shares. It popped up and then I just got out. Um, it looked like it was going to be a long. Uh, and as you can see, stopping out is good, right? Even though if it's 200 shares, uh, it, this is a huge run up. I could have lost a lot of money if I didn't stop myself out. Um, so good practice here very proud of myself only thing I didn't like was this is um, in the opening before the five minutes if I were to wait and then took a long here at this position I could have uh, took advantage of this run-up so um, I think the days of me doing that are kind of over like I said unless I'm very certain so I lost 267 bucks from doing that uh, CAG I went short uh, added to my position. So let's look at CAG first on the daily level. Daily level, it got down, but I was short on it because uh, 15 minute huge engulfing pattern. So notice how I went sh uh, short at around this level once it starts to break that. Um, it didn't really work out for me the first time around. So um, I did wait until the five minute to take the short. Um, however, it still didn't work out for me. So let me zoom in here. You see, I took a short. Uh, added to my position because I know it hits this it's gonna go back down it didn't seem like I was going to do that actually the um, at that time the EMAs looked like it was about to cross so I got out I uh, took a pretty sizable loss I think a thousand dollars because this is pretty big uh, I think overall it's like uh, three thousand shares or something hit that got rejected and then on the way down um, I was pretty certain that it was gonna go down now because there's two SMAs here um, and then on top of that as you can see in the five minute uh, it's basically forming new uh, new lows. So I took 5,000 shares uh, short side here uh, on the way down I kept covering. It bounced back up but it was basically doing sort of a consolidation uh, or a bear flag prior to going back down again. Notice how it went all the way down to 2604. So I took 2,000 shares short uh, on the way down I covered. I covered some more here because I stayed flat at this level 2640. Anytime something like this happens, there's a chance that it would do a run up and go back up towards VWAP or whatnot, do a reversal. I didn't want that to happen. So I basically covered most of my positions, only had 500 shares left. Uh, and then on the way down, I, I basically covered the remainder. It looked like it was struggling and it was going to peter out. Uh, eventually, it looked like it did here. I held this level and now it's doing a reversal. Maybe st it, may, it might still be a weak stock. It may continue to uh, drop or it will just uh, whip around here now. Uh, one minute doesn't look that optimistic yeah it may just whip back that come back down I don't know but anyway I um, did what I needed to do $478 27 tickets $83.80 uh, commission and that's another reason why too uh, besides BYND which is sort of whoops on around now um, all the other stocks um, I was taking a pretty big, or all the other stock, I mean CAG, I was taking a pretty big size on this. So I don't want to uh, keep losing money on uh, on commissions from doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm content.